What's up everybody, Armando here with the Bow Hitch. Today we're gonna go over a few things that we noticed from our trade shows that we went to. A couple of mistakes that were being made, a couple of things that people could do better to get the most efficiency out of the Bow Hitch. So what we're gonna start with is installation of the Bow Hitch and where to put it. Um, when you're looking at your backpack, you're not gonna wanna put it on when you're not wearing your backpack. Okay, so we're gonna wait to put the backpack on and then install our bow hitch. Another thing that we're looking for is for a sturdy place to put your the, the webbing. So what we're looking for is something where it's sewed. Something where it's sewed in as a strap. We're not gonna wanna put the bow hitch here and then it's gonna slide this buckle down. We're gonna wanna put it here where the bow hitch is gonna be able to have its weight and the force of the buckle is gonna work. Okay, one issue that we're having is if people install their buckle too high and this is up on your shoulder, there's not enough tension and the bow hitch strap will slip. Okay, so I'll give you guys an example of that before I put it on. We're gonna put it on in the wrong spot. Okay, I'm gonna put it on. Put it on, get our bow hitch adjusted, slide it for our arm's length, okay? It's nice and steady right there, but for whatever reason, if you hit something, you can see it's sliding here with very, very minimal effort. This is a carbon air, doesn't weigh anything, and it's still sliding. So you definitely don't wanna put it up here tight by your shoulder. We're gonna wanna put it down here on one of these lower straps. So I'll take my bow off. And we're just gonna move it down just a hair. So moving it is as simple as snapping off that buckle. We're gonna move it here above this stitching. Make sure it's snapped on. Good to go again. Okay, when you're sizing for your bow hitch or when you're adjusting for your arm's length, tighten all your buckles, get everything like it's gonna be when you're hunting. We get our little loop, slide it in, pull down, and I like to carry it in my shooting hand and that's where I want my bow hitch to end. So if this was my strap, I would cut this off about here, burn the end, that way it's not in the way. This is just for demo purposes, but cut it where you like it. Doug likes to carry his a little bit higher. He puts it about here, but he carries his bow like this. Either of these two ways is good. The point that we're trying to get to with this is that you have support on the bow when you're carrying your bow. You're guiding it. You're not walking and just letting it flop around, and you're definitely not using it as an armrest or putting extra undue unneeded pressure. It's not an armrest. That's not what it's, des not what it's designed for. So it's designed to be ready to hunt, okay? It's designed to take off and shoot that quick. Slide on, there you go. You need the glass, you need the GPS. Hanging here and just sitting here and talking and opening a gate or whatever is perfect. We just don't want you to get into the habit of walking without guiding your bow because this little loop is designed to come off that quick and that easy so that's uh those are those are two of the biggest things people are putting their their webbing too high up on their shoulder and not low enough to where the buckle can actually work and the friction uh keeps it from sliding down the other thing is we're seeing people use the bow hitch as a rest quite a bit so if you just fix those two things and you're aware of them I think it'll be a huge help for you in the uh, efficiency and the effectiveness of your bow hitch and you'll get the most out of it. So uh, one more thing that we, uh, I want to show you and we looked at it the other day on one of my videos, but on the tight spot quivers, we are adding this piece of weather stripping that goes right here adjacent to the clamp. So if you did not get provided one of these, send me a dm give me a phone call whatever and we'll mail you a little piece of weather stripping 
or you could just buy a small piece of weather stripping. And the reason we're gonna put this here is once it slides onto your bow hitch, you're gonna make contact with the bow hitch, except now it's not metal on metal. Now it's metal on that weather strip material and there's zero sound and zero movement. So um, just a couple of tricks, couple of things that we learned from the shows. Thank you for all the support that we got. It was incredible. We look forward to seeing you guys all next summer. Um, thank you very much. Send us a message. Check out our hero program, veterans, teachers, nurses, first responders. Uh, if you think you qualify, hit us up and we'll let you know. But carrying your bow sucks. You don't have to do it. And you guys be good. Good luck this season.